In this video, you will learn about the different inventory levels and what they represent, the events and processes that increase or decrease inventory, which processes should be used in different scenarios in order to increase and decrease inventory, and how to monitor changing inventory levels. Brightpell provides several different inventory levels, in stock, allocated, on hand and on order, each providing their own important piece of information about your inventory. First of all, in stock. This represents a quantity which is physically on the shelf in your warehouse. When you do a stock take, you'll be comparing it to your in-stock figure in Brightpearl. If there are any variances, stock corrections are used to adjust the in-stock figure. Next is the allocated figure, and this represents the portion of your in-stock items which are already reserved for existing open and unshipped sales orders. These items are already reserved for customers and therefore no longer available for selling. However, those items still remain in your warehouse and are therefore considered to be in stock, so the allocated items are included within the in-stock figure. It's the on-hand figure which represents how many items are available for selling, and that's calculated as the in-stock figure minus the allocated items. And it's this figure which you'll see synchronised with each of your integrated sales channels. Finally, we have on order, and this tells you how many items are on open purchase orders and currently awaiting delivery from your suppliers. Let's now take a look at all the different ways in which your inventory can be increased and decreased. Here I have a brand new product, but currently I have no stock in order to start selling it. So first of all, I'm going to increase my inventory by purchasing from my supplier. We can see here I already have 10 on order. Let's now receive those into stock. Now the items have been received, let's take another look at the inventory levels. The items are now no longer on order, they are considered to be in stock and on hand. And on the stock audit trail for this product, we can see from which purchase order these items were received. It's also possible to unreceive items against a purchase order. Let's say that I actually only received 9 of those 10 items. I've received 10 in error, so I need to correct my stock. Since I received too many against the purchase order, I need to unreceive them against the purchase order. I received 9 out of 10 items, so I just need to remove 1. Let's check those inventory levels again. My corrected inventory levels now show that I have 9 in stock, 9 on hand, and unlike a stock correction, the item is placed back on order and is awaiting delivery. Let's now say that a customer wishes to buy this product, so a new sales order is added. Simply saving the item on the sales order will not affect the inventory levels. It needs to be allocated. Only once allocated are the items reserved for the order, and this is when the allocated and on-hand inventory levels are updated. Allocating the item on the sales order hasn't changed the in-stock figure, but now we can see that one item is allocated and the on-hand is reduced, so only eight are available to sell. Let's see what happens when the item is shipped. Now the items have been shipped, they have been completely removed from stock. They've left the warehouse. This means they are no longer considered allocated either. But my on hand hasn't changed as it was updated at the point the item was allocated against the order. Remember, on hand always equals in stock less allocated. Let's now say that the customer returns the item, so we need to bring it back into stock, and that's done using a sales credit. On the credit, I need to receive the item into stock. Receiving the item doesn't immediately update your inventory levels. It's placed into quarantine to give the opportunity to check the item can be resold. Only once released from quarantine are the inventory levels updated. And remember, all in-stock inventory changes for products can be monitored within the stock audit trail. So far, we've seen inventory levels are changed by buying inventory. So when it's received against the purchase order, it increases inventory correcting the received amount, so unreceiving inventory on a purchase order where the incorrect amount was received in error decreases inventory, selling inventory, so when an item is sold and shipped to a customer it decreases the inventory levels, and then receiving items back in on a sales credit when a customer has returned an item increases stock. But inventory can also be adjusted using inventory corrections. 
Corrections can be done to increase or decrease the in-stock inventory level by the desired quantity. It can be done manually one product at a time or in batches using an import. These types of corrections or adjustments are usually used for importing opening inventory levels when you migrate to Bright Pearl from another system and then for correcting your inventory after stock takes. You can learn more about importing inventory levels, stock corrections and your stock take in another video.